guys welcome back to COVID Clinton so in this video now I'm going to show you how to implement class based views you understand so we've been working on function based views right so I'm going to show you how to use the class based views you get so right now let's start you understand so I'm going to create a new class up here so I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to create a new class now let's do that so I'll say class so class then so we're going to call this API products you understand api products you understand for you to name a class based function you need to like call you need to make sure that the first letter of each word are in capital they are in capital form they are in uppercase you understand but for the function based views you can see we, need to, we, we make sure that they are lower cases and they are also separated with an underscore that's the convention you understand so Right there now, after we've done this now, we need to inherit from a particular view. So we need to import that right now. Simply say from REST framework from REST framework dot views. We need to import API view. Understand? So we need to import a particular view. So this view, so I'm gonna pass that here. API View you get so after that has been done so now we're gonna make a, a get request you understand you know we're gonna make a get and a post request you understand so we're gonna simply say dev get this 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 get request is trying is trying to simulate this our uh, get request we have here you understand the class based views is quite better than the function based views because it's keeps your it, it keeps your code cleaner understand makes it looks cleaner you get so we are simply saying we are gonna make we are gonna now we need to like state out the get method so we are gonna say so we are, we are gonna say get and we are gonna pass in self and request self and request understand so we'll simply copy all the code we have here copy and paste just under this get so paste that there instead i'm gonna so after that we need to now declare the post function the post instant post function i'm gonna see me say post you get post you need to pass in self and request so self and request so after we've done that now i think we can copy what's beneath just copy this now cuts and paste so i think everything oh i didn't so I think everything is fine here. Yeah? So we need to remove this one. It's not needed again. Understand? It's not needed. You get so after we've done this now. This is, this is a class-based view. We need to go down to our URLs.py file. Go down there and make some changes. You get so we're going to simply say views.api. It's going to be it's, now. It's going to be API products. Dot as view. Understand? Now it is a class-based view. You get so dot as view. So that's what you need to do there. So I think everything should be fine from the server. The server is running, so everything is fine. So go on to the views of Pi Five. We're not done. So we're gonna implement we're gonna implement the same thing for this API product in a stand. So we need to call on the so we're gonna simply say class API products. This is for the individual product you get. So I'm gonna pass an API view. So after you've done that now, again we're gonna then we need to declare a get function. So I'm gonna simply say get and this get is gonna simply have in the self and the request in the stand. So don't forget. So after you've done that now we can copy out the code we have here. We copy it cut, so we're gonna cut and paste. We need to also put in this product in each of the functions in the stand. We're gonna pass in this product so you understand we can see this id you know we are getting the product by their id so we're gonna pass this id so we're gonna pass in this pk sorry i'm gonna pass in this pk right here you understand the pk needs to be up there you get so because we're getting the product by their id this pk needs to be right there you stand from our URLs of pi fi it's called pk so it needs to be in this particular view instead so what we've done that now to do the same thing for the put request i'm going to simply say dev put and i'm going to simply pass on the soft requests and then i think okay after we've done that now just copy out the just copy out this code 
Control to C and let's paste that paste that there this product needs to also get it understand so this product needs to be declared in all the functions you need to put in this product in all the functions unlike the function based view so this pk needs to come up here again pk you get so that's it for the put request you know we have one more which is the delete function so we are going to declare that also we're going to say that def delete then needs to also pass in the solve requests solve requests oh what am i doing request and pk okay so after we've done this now what we need to do just let's copy this let's paste right we're going to cut and paste not copy you understand so copy this product again we need to pass it in all the functions in a stand so we've done that there so after we've done that there i think everything should be fine but we're having an error indentation error so can't really call where the error is coming from so we need to find out okay the error is from the bottom we need to clear out this function based views we don't need them again now we are using the class based views understand the class based makes your life easier so those are class based views now so i think everything is fine so right now go down to your uis.py file urls and change the name from api products from this form to the normal format it's going to be called api products dots as underscore view understand so put in the parentheses and let's refresh our browser make sure everything is fine go down to products let's see so let's get in a particular product id let's say paste that there enter oh we have an error it says as view takes one positional argument but two we are given let's see what the problem is for the api product view from what i'm seeing here there's no error i don't know why this is misbehaving i checked there was no error i checked understand so everything should be fine refresh the page everything is fine understand so i think we can delete it let's try deleting an item so click on delete so you can see so for no content everything is working fine now so i'll show you how to do the same thing for the categories understand so right there i'm gonna do the same thing okay so what i want you to do is this i want you to like okay i'm going to show you how to do this now so let's we're going to do that together so let's do that right now so first of all create a new class let's say class i'm going to call this api categories oh categories and stands so we're going to put an api view and then we're going to listen out for the get request for the get method rather so get so after we've done this now we need to just put in self and request instead self and request and after we've done that i think we can then copy this code and let's paste just right there do the same thing we're going to make the post request also i think i'm going to say for the post request so left post so I'm going to say this is self request. Okay, so we we'll simply we need to get. Okay, I didn't do that for the post request. I said you guys, I said you guys should do that, right? So now we're going to simply create a new variable called serializer. It should be equal to category serializer. Category serializer. Then we're going to simply say data should be equal to request dot data request or data right so after we've done that now we'll simply say serializer dot is valid sorry for my typing skill so i'm going to simply say raise exception raise underscore exception should be equal to true understand so true so 
I explained this in the previous video so go and watch the previous video so you can understand what I'm doing here so after we've done this now we can then save you can then say it's called serializer no serializer serializer then you can then say serializer.save serializer dot save and then we can return a response right so we can then say return response and then serializer dot data that's it there okay so after we've done this now i think you can then do the same thing for the api category for each of the categories you get so we say class api category let me show this is recording i want to be sure of that so api category so api view api view so until we've done this okay so i'm going to check out for the gets the boots and the delete method in the stand so i'm going to do this for you so let me say dev get so we are going to simply pass in self request and pk if you can remember stand self request and pk right so after we've done that now i think we're going to copy out this stuff ctrl c to paste just for the gets method I have done the same. We are going to do the same thing for the puts. Understand? For puts. So then we are going to put in self. Oh god. Self request and PK. I don't know why I feel slow in typing today. So after I've done that, there, what do we need to do again? We are trying to update, right? So we need to also get this stuff paste it here and right now we need to pass in now we need to pass in data should be equal to request dot data understand so after we've done that now we need to also do category understand the instance we are trying to update right so we've done that there so after we've done that now we can then i'm going i'll copy this particular line of code ctrl c understand what it's trying to do there i hope you understand if you don't understand please go and watch your previous video go and watch the previous video the part two so you can understand what i'm trying what what this with exception is doing understand so we're going to work on the delete method right now to so say dev delete so right now i'm going to copy this stuff to so save time to see and paste here after we've pasted okay so we can then say category no i'm gonna copy this i'm gonna type in it so we can save time paste there so after we've done that there we can simply say category dot delete right dot delete so that done so we can then return this response i'll do response on top so copy come down here and paste so delete this stuff don't need that again we are now using class base view so we are going to go down to our urls of pyfy and change the urls in stand so right now it's api categories dot as view api categories dot as underscore view the same thing again just right there api category dot as view dot as underscore view so that is it there everything should be perfect in the stand so i'm going to try categories right now copy this stuff to the browser i hope everything works so come down here and paste in categories enter okay perfect so it's everything is perfect you understand so let's check out for the detail page ctrl c okay everything is perfect you get so the source code is down below so check out the source code so support the channel support us on patreon paypal do it to subscribe like and share this video i'm gonna see in the next video